Good morning. First to the bushfire crisis in Queensland, where there have been more evacuations as frustration grows among residents who are being told it will be days before they're allowed to return to their homes. Seven News reporter Joel Dry is at Agnes Water, south of Gladstone, and Seven Sunrise reporter Lisa Goddard is at Emergency Management Headquarters. First to you, Joel. What's the situation there this morning? Well, Sally, we are at the Incident Command Centre for the Deepwater Fire that has been burning for over a week now. We know homes have been lost, but yesterday evening the concern was for further north uh, at a fire at Yungala, west of Mackay, where there was the very real concern property was going to be lost there also. The community was told that they had to leave now. It was simply too late to evacuate, and so dire were the conditions that a rescue helicopter was actually flown in and evacuated about 10 people mostly children because uh, there was concerns for their uh, respiratory health and also just the general uh, safety of the people there. Now, thankfully, at about 9.30 last night, that fire was uh, downgraded thanks to some great work by the 737 water bomber, uh, and it is now looking like uh, no property was lost. Down here, also some good news. At about midnight last night, the deep water fire that, as we said, has uh, uh, destroyed a large number uh, of properties and, and also homes, that has been now downgraded to uh, an advice level, which is uh, one down from where it was. So great news uh, for the people there, but they can't yet return to their homes because the situation is simply too dangerous with a lot of trees down and also a lot of crews still in the area working hard to uh, to keep that fire at that level. So it's within containment lines, another busy day for firefighters as they uh, try to really take this to the next step so people can finally get back to their properties. Yeah, unfortunately it's not over yet. Now to you, Lisa, what are firefighters expecting today? Well, Sally, firefighters say we're in for some terrible conditions for at least the next four days. They're really testing times for them. But they said some good news this morning. The temperatures have dropped slightly, so they say they're in for a reprieve at least until about 2 o'clock this afternoon. They say between 2 o'clock and 6 o'clock, that is their real extreme danger period as the winds again pick up. And we've seen those winds are just you know, rapidly changing direction. So that really pushes them to the limits as far as trying to put out warnings for people and keeping people safe or as safe as they possibly can. Can. Now, the other good news overnight from the command centre here is that there have been no new warnings issued in any new locations. But of course, as Joel has mentioned, there are still prepare to leave and leave now orders in place in that fire zone. So the message here from command centre is please listen to the radio and do listen to the warnings. Another busy day ahead for authorities. Thank you very much, Lisa and Joel.